Hello there and welcome back to the campaign as William the Conqueror. This series has been sponsored by Pax Britannica, a narrative history podcast of the British Empire. Something we are trying to create. We are raising up our men now so that we can go and deal with some peasants who are trying to uh, take some planet. Greetings, King William of England. I've considered your plight and decided to grant your request. May these funds help you spread the true faith in your lands. I will use this very wisely. I have lost a bit of piety for it, but we now have an army together and let's go and deal with these peasants. Excellent. Uh, what is this here? Empty council position. Really? Let's uh, put pause in. I can't have the game's pause on. Yes, I think it's out. Marshal perk available as well. Let's uh, go to my lifestyle down here and uh, choose one. Engineer for destruction. I would like the um, organized march. Marketing tactics. Let's go for movement speed here. I like the idea of that. I did want the idea of uh, siege weapon effectiveness too, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We do have victory. We lost 28. We killed 480. An absolute slaughter. Absolute slaughter. Would it be a way to only call up my men at arms? Raise all armies. Not sure if there was a way to do something like that. So well, let's uh, continue through these forces here and see them all gone. Another victory, of course, and we'll be sending you up on your way. A dangerous faction. Who would this be? The peasant rabble. Still need a peasant rabble? Yeah, we're at war. I am dealing with you. Victory again in the Battle of Salisbury, uh, of course. Empty council position. Now, nah, is my steward. I'm not sure who was there before. But we'll give the position to Duke Robert II of Normandy. A powerful vassal. I'm sure he will appreciate having that position there. Nothing else we are too worried about now. Let's just to go over and put down this rabble. And, uh, yeah, let's get rid of these. Can we please get rid of them? 49%. Where, where else do they have people? I, I don't see any more. Also, we've gained more land in the Scotland. I'm not sure who's been doing this. Ah, well, it'd be you, of course, because you are the man who currently holds it. So, where exactly are the rest of these? Oh, there's a thousand of them down that way. Well, let's march off and deal with them in Cornwall. Of course, it was another victory. Gaining a little bit of fame. I'm surprised these battles warrant such a thing. Next, we have defeated the peasants. We will enforce our demands on them. Locals pacified for 10 years. Peasant rebels destroyed, and we imprison the leader, Edward. Enforce these demands. Excellent. So be it. Let's tell the army to, uh, to disband. So as for these forces, can I not call them up individually? Do I have to call up my entire army every time? No, I can do my soldiers here. My men-at-arms... Uh, none. Men-at-arms, yeah, of this host. Very good. No, it's just the uh, special soldiers here. Okay, well, good for them. I can only raise a small group at a time. We'll leave everyone else here where they are, because I do have to pay for them when they're not raised. Again, another victory there. Let's have a look at this man now. Is there anything I can do with him? Torture him? Oh, give me... Uh, not much. Um, let's just uh, execute him. Sure. Yeah, I gain dread. We spend... Oh, we spend piety to do so. Okay, well, let's not do that then. Ransom? Just leaves prison. I get a weak hook on him. But let's or just leave him in jail then. There's no nothing to gain from that. Next, we are out of debt now. No control over many regions I'm sure. Hampshire out of control of 46. Over here with Stonehenge. Uh, zero control. 16 control. To control. Hopefully, these things do come through soon enough. They are progressing. 
unrepresented an Anglo-Saxon man from Rayek has come to petition me for increased representation in my government. My lord, we are your loyal subjects, yet we have no say in how our communities are governed. Would it be so much to ask for one of our own people to have a place in your administration? Very well, Rayek, from this point forward. You rule the Rayek. What does that mean? He gains Earldom of Derby, Lancashire, Cheshire. Who are you? Lincoln. Uh, I could loosen the reins in exchange for your services. Joins my court. Control in Derby. Not having. So it says he gains Earldom of Cheshire, Lancashire, Derby, and Rayeg. Duchy of Rayeg. Well, I don't have the Duchy of Rayeg, do I? No. This guy does. This guy holds everything, though. So far, we'll have this man do it. So it looks like Duke Alwyn will be very upset, and so will his uh, the other lords there in the region. But we'll go for this man, Catholic Anglo-Saxon. But so are you. You are also Catholic Anglo. No, you're Catholic Welsh, and a kid. Let's go with this man. Very well. You shall rule these lands from now on. He is now the fellow of Lancashire. Egbert, can we try and have you uh, change religion at all? Modify your feudal contract. I could use a strong hook to have that happen. Do I care more for levies or shekels? Levies don't actually change. The shekels do, and I, I care more for the shekels at the moment. Let's try and do that. Modify it with a hook. You'll be paying tax now, my man. Your heir is, of course, me. You picked the wrong name to be the charge of here. Lincoln's over that way. I wouldn't mind, though, having you so much weaker. You have so much land. Stop vassal war. Who is, who's he at war with? Attacking... Who? Who's this man? Oh, he's attacking Nat in the claim on the Principality of... Looks like all of his land. Well, let's allow him to keep going there, but he is becoming quite powerful. I'm not such a fan of him being very powerful. So it's good that we did actually get rid of the Duchy of Lancashire from him. Surety, surety of supply. I pride myself on making sure everything is always accounted for, which includes making sure my soldiers are well provisioned. To this end, I should come up with a plan for ensuring my soldiers always have the supplies they need in the field. Arrange a network of merchants to help me stockpile supplies. My stronghold costs money. Hmm. Let's go for the one that does not cost, cost money. I do not need to be losing shekels now, do I? A dependable network. After going through realm reams of financial ledgers, I was able to pick out a group of merchants scattered around the countryside which I knew would be dependable. I made an offer to keep them on a retainer to provide any supplies my army needs at a moment's notice. This will ensure my commanders will always know who they should go to when they need provisions. Excellent, they will reliably... Uh, did, oh, we can skim it a bit off the top. Alright, yes, I don't mind doing that. We do need a bit of money. Especially if we are to reclaim these lands from Scotland. Kings of Scotland, you're not very strong, are you? King Dunkeld, let's have a look here at what exactly we can do. We could declare war to seize the du Jour County. But that's surely not the only du Jour, the this entire area here. On Alwyn, you get the bishopric of the area. That's not what I want. Change objective. Earldom, Earldom, Earldom. Why can we not take all of them? You have that, you have that. You have this all the way over in Cumberland. Yeah, why can't we do multiple? Why can't we press for everything here? Is this not all a duchy? Let's uh, get rid of this. Let's have a look here. So what is this? You are all part of the duchy of Mercia. Mercia exists. I should be able to claim all of this land. Should I not? You're Northamptonshire, you are... Huh. 
Yeah, this doesn't make totally much sense to me. We should be able to go after all of this. Seize that. No. I want it all, but they won't let me. I can't shift click to do multiple. When I confirm that. No, I, I can genuinely only choose one. Oh, that is nonsense. Uh, if I enforce demands, I'll gain a contested county. But just the one. It's madness. It really is. I should be able to go after all of this land. I can do a war to take over England, but I can't do a war to take over everything Scotland holds that is rightfully mine. <sighs> no, we'll declare a war anyway. And we'll be uh, calling up our forces. Let's uh, get rid of that. Move and you there again. Remove. Can't move. Why not? Do I need at least one? Okay, we'll put this one over this way so we can go straight into work. Can I now get rid of this one? I can. Well, let's select here and raise all of our forces here. Next, we'll go straight to war. Taking over this region. That's not uh, what I want to do. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not too chuffed about this uh, mechanic paradox. Why am I only able to take one area when all of this is rightfully mine? It seems like nonsense, but... Oh well, we won't dwell on it for too long. Next, we have taken over the region. Now let's go with the barony of uh, this area over here. Oh, there's a Scottish army all the way down to my capital already. Let's have a look at that. Max of 30 days left. Aha, I see. Oh, well, that's no good. Let's go down and deal with these fellows. Everyone's heard of the Scottish Navy. Ah. Court is killed in the siege. My court is Alice and Ada killed. Alice is my cousin. Ada is a good hot spouse. Uh, my nephew was captured. I was captured by, uh, yes, others. Which others? Which two others? I'm trying to see who was, who was caught here. You're not telling me. Excellent. Well, now we'll be able to actually uh, go after their forces. Destroy them, no doubt. The sieges go down very slowly. I'm shocked how soon I can take over an entire castle. The sieges would last a lot longer. Especially since it's not every province anymore. Anyway, victory has been had. We killed nearly, well, we killed over twice. Mount we lost, including none of their knights. None of their knights. Well, we'll dismiss that side of the way. Let's uh, simply take back our capital here. We'll assault it as soon as we can. 307 men they've supposedly got in here. Three months they believe it'll take. Oh, I gained 50 gold. Thank you to my wife. Excellent, it did cost a lot of people, but our capital there is now back under our control. We do want to go and uh, deal with these areas here, but what we'll do is... Nothing, I won't leave an army down here. Yes, the, uh, the Scottish Navy, quite something, isn't it? I can imprison people as well. Countess Margaret, who, who's this? She is a Countess of Staffordshire. All the way up there, Liege is this man. Nice try it. Wolf Hills, not sure who you are, so we'll just uh, leave that for now. Doesn't appear anybody has done it. Invalidated. War against the tyranny there has ended since it's no longer able to continue. Right? <laughs> sure. Point because she's not a direct vassal of me. The same way it works in the other game. Excellent, the army of Scotland has once again been defeated. We have another Marshall perk. We'll be going for the Engineer of Destruction here and hoping that our siege go through a lot faster. Can't imagine they won't. 
Three months, you reckon? Or we'll keep a better eye on our capital now so we don't end up having this same thing happen again. Let's try and get this uh, siege dealt with. Excellent. I did see the Scottish forces board a ship again. We have 80%, so we are going to go down to Winchester, just in case that is where they plan on heading. Of course, I can't tell. Oh, of course, yes, they are. Uh, we'll dismiss that. We did kill a fair few of his forces. An empty council position again, a steward position once more. The Duke of Lancaster, we can assign him to it. He's relatively good. Well, no, he's not, but he's a strong bass, and we'll give it to him anyway. Yes, you can have the position, sir. We'll have you uh, collect tax. Yes, that's definitely what I desire. Hopefully defeating the Scottish army here will be enough. I'm worried that the AI might favour ships a bit too much. Scotland should be invading from the north and occupying these lands, but instead they're sailing all the way down to my capital. It doesn't seem quite right. <coughs> But the game has only just been released. I shouldn't look too deep in these things. The war is now at 100% excellent. Well, we'll go in and enforce our demands there. 16 months. Well, we've gained a hook on Duke Halloween. I don't remember claiming this for you, but sure, apparently that happened. Something I can do with this hook, maybe revoke. How was again? I modify your feudal contracts. Personal of a guardianship. Who is your heir? Your heir is your mother, it looks like. Or well, maybe we should try and murder you off. I would like to inherit all of these northern lands. Expect a time to kill him 16 months. Okay, let's start this one here. Let's also get rid of the army as well. Disband those forces. Very good. Intrigue. We can invite agents here, yeah, can we? We already have two agents, well we can invite more. Looks like everybody refuses, they're not such a fan of this idea. I'd like to get rid of their entire family line. Success chance 91. 42, why not? Cannot bribe, I'm sure it'd be yellow if I could bribe them or something to that effect. Well, let's see exactly how this goes. Yes, uh, forward our speed there a bit. Ah, Constance, my daughter has come of age. She is betrothed to this man. Whose liege is uh, all the way down here in Wales. Very good. Well, they do grow up fast. She has got pretty average stats. Can imprison. We'll not do anything to that. This is going to be ransom. We'll go ahead and try to do that. 100 gold I will accept. And then there's a ransom there for 30 more gold. Very good. Written in the stars, a duke to scare a local mystic with dubious morals and a fabricated omen. Perfect. Before a mystic leaves for Duke Alwyn's court, there is but one question. Will my false omen be one of fortune or doom? He gains a bad omen for ten years. We'll gain progress. Let's give him a bad omen. Sure. Oh, we lost progress. Okay. Oh, that's too bad. I can change Duke Alwyn's contract. Oh, I can. More levies or more monies? I'd like more monies. Let's use this hook to do so. Thank you. Nothing else I can really care for there. Greetings, King William of Scotland. I accept your ransom offer. Excellent. Thank you. And to the cocky King William, I accept your ransom offer. Well, thank you again, Duke of Lothian. I uh, appreciate receiving your money. Yes, King Malcolm, though, still owns this land here. I can't do a extra war again, will I? No, I'll be breaking a truce. Well, that's a bit of nonsense, really. I should own this land. Lord over here, is there anything I can do about you? Offer guardianship? No, I'd like to try and vassalize you. You'll say no, minus 45 base reluctance. Part of a different culture group. Well, too bad. Let's see how strong the Germans here are. 
relatively similar to ours. Are you sure that they're much bigger kingdom? Murder, bewitch, bewinged messenger. As my scheme moves closer to fruition, swift communication is key. I have especially clever pigeon, which Reef Ulkleitel could use to send an urgent message to me here in Winchester if the need arises. But how much would I get the bird into the castle? But how much would I get the bird into the castle? This is somebody needs to proof over this grammar, really. Now I send the gift myself to Duke Alwyn could not refuse, but then that gets me involved. Let's not get involved with this. We'll send 20 gold. Okay, good, he's gained the messenger pigeon. On the march, at the end of the field exercise, it seemed a brilliant idea to practice regrouping an army in disarray. I split my troops and ordered every officer to independently make their way to Winchester. Of course, by the third day of waiting, but with only half my army in place, I start to see flaws in the plan. Ralph suggests I ride out with a contingent of knights to find the missing troops, but the rest of the army returns home. I gain a lifestyle perk, or I gain self-sufficient soldiers. Let's go for a lifestyle perk. I like the idea of that. When my outriders brought news of the little encampments, I did not expect to find soldiers still practicing their battle formations. It seems that my vassal Earl Mergaia took it upon himself to continue the field exercises while waiting for word from the main army. His troops line up neatly as I ride into up to meet him. Search the lane. Gain demoralized soldiers. Or he loses his opinion and I gain tread. Or delay the search. But I'll do for this episode anyway. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this uh, continent. What is this? He offers me my nephew for 20 gold. Yeah, sure. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you are continuing to enjoy this campaign. We are finding a few things that are a little silly, like why we can't just take all of this land here. There should be a way to do all goals like that, but... Otherwise, the game is still quite enjoyable, and it looks very, very attractive. Hopefully, we can continue to expand our realm. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again for watching. This uh, series was sponsored by Pax Britannica, a narrative history podcast of the British Empire. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again for watching. Goodbye.